Hello, beta testers. <laughs> Half a year ago, I put out a video that started by highlighting how the NPCs in Grand Theft Auto V had multiples of what was allowed for a playable character, and asserted that in the decade between titles, Grand Theft Auto would have to make a deliberate decision not to allow a large bosom specifically for the women. When the men were jacked, ripped, cut, toned, roided out freak juicers that Americans like me used to watch all the time when it was called the WWF, the unimaginative, wasted breaths that people used to say normie shit like Wrestling is fake, nigga. A production requires showmanship. These trolls, these future Tumblr kids desperate for someone to respond to them, desperate for attention, these losers would turn into activists and then tell themselves that they could turn into a woman. But uh-oh, they're not as close to what a woman can clearly achieve, so... Their approach became to reduce what women were. Short hair, big jaws, flat chests. Because a masculine woman gives them more of a chance. To the unimaginative, the poetry, the music is lost. It's just words. It's just noise. I don't need you to believe me. I'm not trying to convince you. I don't need to be correct. Right. Now, I eagerly await the information I present being made irrelevant. I eagerly await my prophecies to be wrong, but when they're right, the people making noise will do as they always do and vanish. I'm humbly asking that we skip to that part, but I'm self-aware enough to know asking would be in vain. My opinion is not a stick or stone. It could not hurt you, but I excuse you because from what I gather entity, everything hurts and everybody hurts. Sometimes, tourists. Beta testers, I need you to remember two terms, pandering and self-insert. The people with victim mentalities incapable of art have an arsenal of words so stale to call you for disagreeing with them. Quite frankly, I imagine these entities are so close to shrieking rape at people in the street while recording since these people are genuinely living so luxurious a life that they can super glue their hands to the street and record poor people working hoping that they'll be misgendered. Ooh, they're gonna ruin that person's whole world. As a Jamaican man with a libido strong enough to see through all of this bullshit, having been here from before all of it, I can tell you that your methods are as ineffective as a serial killer choosing a grocery store as a venue for the show. And I understand. The high score may be what gets their manifesto more eyes, but in case you missed it, a killer of the trans flavor had their shit absolutely hidden because the special treatment of the people claiming oppression while censoring the media, just ruining people's ability to have an outlet that's not gonna destroy their body. And I don't say this lightly, you people have gained notoriety that has culturally been discussed as paralleling power typically associated with the Jews. When Miles Morales, a character playable in three different Spider-Man games, and you better believe they're happy to slap some Adidas on that motherfucker, cut his mask open so his fro can come out, because he's a black and Puerto Rican DJ. <laughs> I think getting the flag wrong isn't an innocent mistake when the white saviors making this game, injecting it with all of their HRT positive cringe, are out here rewriting another culture's language. 
I say this to say that when Grand Theft Auto takes over 12 years and over a billion rumored to be in the budget for the game, but I visually can see a downgrade on the surface having combed through a video, an outright exclusion of big-breasted women with the very man-appearing image of the supposedly female protagonist that I'm forced to believe is just going to be uh, similar to the Saints Row reboot. That's the nod here. A decision to not be too edgy was made. The woke is the compromise. And if compromises have been made on the surface in the direction of political correctness, you can bet your bottom dollar they've been made elsewhere. The reduction, the regression, the deliberate downgrade of something that didn't need it. People who champion woke claim to want inclusion, but they're always excluding. You can't find a woman, quote, represented with double D breasts and on stream when I was reacting, someone asked, what's the average size? It's double Ds. They're not there. And it validates the concern that I've made blatantly clear in videos from half a year ago. A game with the name of a felony is afraid to represent the reality of Titty in their chaos simulator set in Florida. What should be Florida Man the video game will instead toe the line and stay politically correct because this is more a product than it is a game. Great, one big-breasted woman in the background would have changed my sentiment, but not featuring a single one? That's a statement. Rockstar got away with a literal casino in their game, but they're taking a stand against Titty. If you think the fact that people would mod their game instantly better in a single fucking night with some big titty bitches, <laughs> you think that's not a factor? And why GTA's not coming to PC immediately? A billion dollars rumored to be going into a project, but we can't get Spanish correct in your flat chest game in 2025. Headlines using the exact terminology that Saints Row developers used before Volition was shut down. Go ahead and comment. Other factors contributed to that. Like I give a shit in the fucking comment section. Saints Row was garbage. It was out of touch. And the final frame of the trailer has the same energy. This, this disgusting masculine shot of what's supposed to be a female, which for the record, I respect, you know, I've seen the leaks, I've seen that uh, Lucia, is it, has makeup on. So maybe it's a transformation. Maybe they're emphasizing that looks aren't at the forefront of this girl's personality. And, and maybe Rockstar's crafting a genuine femme fatale that hates her looks, but recognizes how powerful a tool they are as a woman at greasing the wheels of most men and if you can control powerful people you are by extension powerful that's how a man would write it though so you know i'm sure it's just going to be girl boss cringe the flat chests are the telegraph here beta testa and i don't need to tell beta testa <laughs> mr beta testa and i don't need to make you believe me right now again i can wait I told people Starfield is a live service and the expectation is that the dweebs would fix it so Bethesda could steal it and then sell it back to the player because this has all happened before. And if you do not remember your history, you're doomed to repeat it. And just like all oh, we're, we're living through episodes of fucking Star Trek and the Ghost in the Shell, there's a nerd incarnate. If you speak to an older nerd, I'm sure he can tell you of a different thing that was like a you know, before they remixed it into this other. We're, we've seen it before. We've seen this before. And we can wait. Shift up, the developer of Nikkei Goddess of Victory, they sit wealthy alongside MiHoYo of Genshin Impact and Honkai Star Rail fame. These games with Jiggle Physics waifus identical to the big titty Jiggle Physics VTubers that no doubt people are hearing about over and over and over again. 
The forced injection of ugly, flat-chested bitches has elevated the alternative to constantly ejaculating wallets because fan service isn't evil like the tourist uh, activists claim. It's lucrative, it's message-free, or at least it's mitigated in a way that it doesn't compromise the whole project. Can you imagine that? Like balance? You ever heard of that word? You gonna change what that word means too? Shift up goddess is what uh, got Sony's attention. They need a piece of Stellar Blade now, and the fear is real that they're going to censor the shit out of that, too. Could have been a real new Lara Croft. We haven't had a sexy woman in a while. Not since these, uh, these dumb bitches got into the industry. You know, more power to them. I'm glad that they had their time, and now that time has run its course. I, I hope to return to unapologetic flexes of technology in executing the art that is a beautiful woman jiggling in stark contrast to what games like Grand Theft Auto, named for a felony, are avoiding. We'll know what specifically is a big issue and given Sony's track record with The Last of Us and all of that fucking messaging and now Spider-Man's like the wokest game that's ever come out. The developers are, yo, they don't know that they want it. <laughs> I love you, Beta Tester, and I love the kind of woman that I've known, you know, in this community with all my heart. They're beautiful, soft, curvy little nightmares that could charm any man into a strong desire to touch like a work of art. Senses ignite at the sight. You are inspired by these women, but they craft these goblins in a video game when they could make them look like anything. I can tell you that the girl gamers I know who get down on modded sims, drugs and sex in them sims games, oh my god, endless civilization games some of these girls be playing, man. Girl, spreadsheet ass, boring like accountant video games and the Animal Crossing and Splatoon sluts, these girls have shown me some of the most trance-inducing bodies I've ever seen. And to think that they would be targeted for omission because that's the way that the flat-chested who identify, now they're so upset that their, their way of bullying is to, okay, so, so make less money until all of that shit dries up, man. Desperate to convince the world that only queer horny is okay and straight horny, as in the only horny organically producing offspring, is toxic horny. I thought you vegan energy pussies were all about that organic shit. And don't you love kids, bitch? Without us, no kids. You know? Then y'all really might have some... I, you better shut the fuck up, man. Shut up. You know, I, I'm glad to be wrong, yo. I'm glad to be wrong. Bring it on. But give it time, because I'm not. A politically correct GTA is like a video of a man jumping off a roof that cuts away right before the splat. Beta testers, we are the crowd being marketed to with this product. It is fiction, a virtual simulation, where... However graphic the depictions of human-shaped polygons may convince are a series of ones and zeros intended for people mature and in possession of their faculties enough to separate it from real life. And if that's not you, this shit, as you like to say, isn't for you. Because some people saw that beach and they wondered if there'd be a leaderboard for how many people have been run over in a vehicle. The same need be said about anime. Because you gotta protect it from jackass kids brainwashed by finally popular ex-Tumblr kids on TikTok, right? Look, I'm a messenger, and I'm not here to help your side, but I'd truly like to speed up this process here. It's been a long time. And uh, some people that I represent that do not have a better way of living following a, a very difficult past, the kind of difficult where they're actually, let's, you know, well, yeah, there's no reasoning with you people, fuck me. 
I'm not glorifying depictions of violence or or people self-deleting, nor do I seek to normalize it being a casual thing for, for normies to view, bro. I want us to have our little hills, okay? Because that's healthy. We just don't need to get in each other's lanes so damn hard and refuse people. Oh, you know, you're you're actively trying to ruin everybody else's bullshit. And as a Jamaican man currently living in Florida, whose first girlfriend was Cuban when I lived in Miami, beautiful Latina women, they bloom early. Some are awkward, frumpy, of course, but a flat-chested boy is the worst way to advertise what normie tourists are reporting as the first female. These games journalists will rejoice because she's ugly, and maybe they're probably deliberately rage-baiting, and they know better because the AI actually told them the truth about it not being the first female, but whatever to get clicks, right? But to the average, kind, sweet, little gamer... The ones being targeted by groups named Sweet Baber. I know they just don't care about all this political shit. And they look and they go, damn, man, why she got to look? Damn, man. I'd grant the benefit of the doubt if I were some dumbass, data-ignoring lunatic. But flat chests are always the signal. I read you loud and clear. So... Two more high-profile Bud Light incidents from here to when GTA is supposed to launch. More games like Genshin, Goddess of Victory, and Stellar Blade. If Sony doesn't violate it, hopefully we can get Stellar Blade's developer a, a whistle that they can blow in case, you know, drunk old gross into young Sony, you know, comes and, oh boy... It's just going to be an innocent little D DMC uh, Bayonetta. Oh, boy. Beta testers, a warning. The cult of radical silencers have made it clear with Hogwarts and a game called The Coffin of Andy. You know, they're, they're, they're out there, man. Soon GTA is going to be yet another pff, hail for them to wage their attempt to police what you buy and how you play the thing you own. Be patient, observant, but play some real life Phoenix Wright to listen for their contradictions. Reserve your objections until the next Bud Light. The compilations will make the most sense then. If you're listening to this from the future, I'm trying my best. From my little demonetized channel that's getting restricted for me saying the wrong terms and and names, okay? I'll get creative. And I love you. Thank you for your support. Get into the Discord. 